Hello, everybody. Here's my solar panels. They're charging my phone right now. There is my device for checking alignment with the sun. <laughs> Well, as you can see in that brief introduction, my first uh, adventure into solar was a 24 watt RAV power solar panel that uh, had three USB outputs on it that you could charge a phone or any device. I would normally use that to charge a battery bank and then use the battery bank at night for charging my devices. I was so pleased with my small 24 watt folding solar panels that I decided to buy a kit from Renogy. This is a representation of the kit that I bought. The only thing I did different was I had two 100 watt eclipse panels instead of mono panels. And it came with 20 feet of cord and connections, the fuses, uh, the BT1 dongle. The 20 amp Rover MPPT charge controller and uh, everything you needed to make it work except the battery. I then purchased a 100 amp hour AGM battery which was very shortly followed by a second one to fulfill what I thought would be my power requirements. The next step was to hook them up. So I leaned them against a, uh, a horse and uh, looked at the charge controller and the BT-1 uh, Bluetooth dongle on the app on my phone, and this is what I had. The next logical step for me was to uh, build a frame to mount the panels on. So uh, these are some pictures of the panels actually mounted. And uh, next I'm going to show a video of uh, taking the panels down from their uh, frame, which was built out of uh, three quarter inch by one eighth inch angle aluminum. At the beginning of this video, I am unhooking the uh, MC4 connectors for the panel, and I am also uh, untying the paracord that I use to keep the wind from blowing it over. When I use this uh, setup, I uh, always anchored it down one way, shape, or form or the other. If I didn't have it anchored to my uh, A-liner, I would uh, pound a, a stake in the ground and tie off the top so that it couldn't fall forward onto the panels. So now that the panels are laying up on the tailgate of my vehicle, I would disassemble the frame and first thing is the legs have to come off. Everything is held together by uh, quarter twenty screws and uh, wing nuts on the legs. And you'll see that I have uh, uh, everything is once the legs are folded down, uh, I put screws through them so that all the all the pieces were together. And once the legs are done, you'll see that I'm changing the tip on my screwdriver and I am removing the screws, which are the actual uh, Z, they're called, uh, Z mounts for the panels. It would be the same mounts that you would use if you were mounting them to a roof or a, a building. It, they lift them up off of uh, whatever they're on to give good air clearance for uh, temperature control. And here is a, a 
for this first year, I carried the panels around in their original boxes with a styrofoam padding. And you can see I put the ends of the MC4 connectors through the uh, styrofoam to keep them from bouncing on the panels. And now I can take the second uh, panel off of the legs. And there you can see that uh, the Z connectors are still on the legs. I uh, kept them with the legs during this part of the disassembly. Later on, I'll remove those uh, Z mounts from the legs just to keep them from getting bent. And here I am storing the second panel. I would store the panels in the back seat of my vehicle and put the strap on them so that they didn't fall forward and break on anything in front of it. Here are some examples of how I use my solar panels in this configuration. You'll notice that sometimes the panels are not set up in the frame. They are just leaning up against my A-liner, tow vehicle, or even a picnic table. After using them quite a while, it became troublesome putting the frame together. It took approximately 10 or 15 minutes. There were also times when I was traveling during the daytime and only had the chance to gather a small amount of sunlight at the end of the day. Or my state of charge was such that I didn't need a lot of solar, so I might only put out one panel. Also in this particular part of my travels, I was a little worried about the possibility of my panels being stolen. So I did sometimes not put them out during the daytime. This really wasn't much of an issue because I'm careful not to waste power. 